Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today we'll be talking about hyperbola. A hyperbola is the locus of all points S, Y, which moves such that the difference of its distance from two fixed fo two, two fixed points foci is a constant. Now, if you remember in ellipse, that is why ellipse and hyperbola has the same formula. Okay, in ellipse, it says that uh, when you add the distance between uh, uh, that uh, fixed point, you have a constant 2a. But in hyperbola, it's not the difference. No, it's not, it's not um, the summation now, but the difference. So, if I have a point here, for instance, this is point P, which is S, Y. Okay, they say that the distance from here to this fixed point, and distance from here to this fixed point, that if you subtract them, then you are going to get what? Uh, you are going to get um, 2a. Okay, so let me call this D2 and D1. So to get my D1, D1 all squared is equal to distance between two points. And don't forget that the center and the focus and vertex of ellipse are still the same thing with um, hyperbola. So the focus, foci, there is C in it. So we add C to the side that has H. So F bracket H plus C comma K. So this side is the left hand side. F bracket H minus C comma K. So the vertex, the vertex is what? Va, there is A. So H minus A comma K. And for the right hand side, H plus A comma K. Then the center, the center does not change. H comma K. So let's get the distance. The distance of D1 is what? X minus uh, H plus C. Okay? All squared plus uh, Y minus K all squared then d2 d2 okay sorry let's bring h and k together to have what uh x minus h minus c minus c all squared plus y minus k all squared so let's go to d2 d2 becomes um this side now uh d2 x minus x here yeah and y minus y here. Yes. So I'm going to have x minus h minus c all squared plus y minus k all squared. Okay. So if I open here, I'm going to have that d2 all squared is equal to what? x minus h together then plus c all squared plus what? y minus k all squared. So they say that if this is a hyperbola, that the difference between d1 and d2 I can say D1 first, I can say D2 first. Okay, let me say D1. D1 minus D2. Don't forget that, um, okay, will be equal to what? 2A. So D1, now when square cross, it becomes square root. So D1 is now the square root of uh, X minus H. Okay? D1 is the square root of X minus H minus C, all squared, plus Y minus K, all squared. Okay, minus the square root of it's equal to 2a minus the square root of this one, which is what uh, x minus h plus c all squared plus y minus k all squared. Okay, so and I told you before that um, before you do square both sides, that two square roots cannot be at the same place. So let me move one of them to the other side. Then we'll do uh, we'll do what is called square both sides. So let me move this one to the other side. I'm going to have I'm going to have the square root. I'm going to have um, the square root of x minus h minus c all squared plus y minus k all squared okay this one now is equal to 2a minus here across becomes plus plus the square root of the square root of um, x minus h minus c all squared plus y minus k all squared okay so having this thing now we are going to have we are going to square both sides if I square both sides if I square both sides I'm going to have if 
If I scale both sides, I'm going to have um, uh, this side all square. X minus H minus C. Is equal to this side, okay? Square, okay? Is equal to this side through A plus the square root of X minus H minus C all square plus Y minus K all square. There, everything square. So that's it. Square both sides. Now square will cancel square root. So what is remaining here is now X minus H minus C all square plus y minus k all squared is equal to now here we are going to do square the first one to have 4a squared multiply the first one and the second one double it i'm going to have a um, plus a 4a 4a the square root of x minus h minus c all squared plus y minus k all squared okay then square the last one is square cancelling square root is running what x minus h minus c all square plus y minus k all square so if you look at this now y minus k will take care of y minus k so let's open these two brackets let's open this if i open this one i'm going to have square the first one to have x minus h all square multiply the first one and the second one double it minus 2 c bracket x minus h okay square the last one i'm going to have plus what c square okay is equal to 4 a squared plus 4 a the square root of x minus h minus c all square plus what y minus k all square okay plus let's open this one if i open this one i'm going to have um Sorry, one of these should be plus. This is plus. If you open the bracket, sorry, this is plus. Okay, this is plus. And this is plus. Yes. Okay. So what do we have now? I'm having um, squared the first one. X minus H all squared. Use the first one, multiply the second one, double it. Minus 2C bracket X minus H. Then plus C squared. Plus C squared. Okay, so c square will cancel the c square. Okay, x minus h all square will cancel x minus h all square. So this one that is minus. Okay, this is plus. This is plus. So this one that is plus coming here becomes minus. So or let me leave. Let me bring the one that has square to the other side. A square root to the other side. So I'm going to have four a the square root of x minus h minus c all squared sorry this is plus plus c all squared okay plus y minus k all squared i brought it this side is equal to now i already have um 4a squared here plus 2c bracket x minus h plus another 2c bracket x minus h because this one minus crossing to the other side becomes plus so if you add them together we are going to have we are going to have that 4a we are going to have that 4a okay the square root of x minus h all squared plus c plus y minus k all squared okay uh, is equal to So what am I having here? Uh, this and this will give you. Uh, I already have four a squared plus four c bracket x minus h. So if you divide everybody by four, if you divide through by four, you are left with a the square root of x minus h plus c all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to a squared plus c x minus h so let us uh, 
square both sides. Let's square both sides to remove the square root. To square both sides, I'm going to have If I square both sides, I'm going to have um, a d square root of x minus h plus c all squared plus y minus k all squared. Then everything squared is equal to a squared plus c bracket x minus h. Then all squared. Okay. So now what do you have? You now have that a squared will give you a square. A squared. Square cancel square root. I'm left with x minus h plus c all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to square the first one a4. Multiply the first one and the second one, double it. 2a squared c bracket x minus h. Square the last one c squared into x minus h squared. Okay. So let us open the bracket of this one inside here. I already have a squared in big bracket. Opening this one, square the first one, x minus h, all squared. Multiply the first one, double it, 2c bracket x minus h. Square the last one, we are going to have what? Plus c squared, okay? Plus y minus k, all squared, okay? Is equal to a4 plus what? Um... 2a squared c bracket s minus h plus c square bracket s minus h all square. Okay, so let's clear with this a. If I clear with this a, I'm going to have this time this a square bracket x minus h all square. This time this plus 2a squared c bracket x minus h plus a squared c squared plus a square bracket y minus k all squared is equal to. Is equal to a raised power of 4 plus 2a squared c bracket s minus h plus c square bracket s minus h all squared. Now, this and this are the same, so this one will cancel this one. So I'm left with so okay, I'm left with um, let me bring all the variables one side, let me bring this one to this side. So I'm going to have a squared a squared bracket x minus h all squared minus c squared bracket x minus h all squared okay this one crossing here then plus a squared bracket y minus k all squared which is this one is equal to this one will cross here to have what a raised power of 4 minus a squared c squared so what do we have now we now have that something is common between these two people. Something is common between these two people, which is what? X minus H all squared is common. I'm left with A squared minus C squared. Okay? So plus A squared bracket Y minus K all squared is equal to... Here, A squared is common. So I'm left with A squared minus C squared. But you need to note something. Since... This one said that the difference between the, this, this thing. So since they say different, which is minus. So it means that C squared is not, it's now A squared plus B squared. But if you remember in, a, in ellipse, C squared is what? A squared minus B squared. But in hyperbola, it's plus. So let me collect like terms. I want to know what, um, what B is equal to. Okay, I want to know what b is equal to, so let's go. Minus b minus b squared is equal to what? a squared minus c squared. So anywhere I see a squared minus c squared, I'll put minus b squared. So I'll put, uh, this is what? x minus h all squared into minus b squared. Okay, plus a squared bracket y minus k all squared is equal to what? minus a squared b squared because of this minus so finally let us divide everybody by by minus a squared b squared so divide by minus a squared b squared you now have what uh 
minus b square bracket x minus h all square all over minus a square b square okay plus a square bracket y minus k all square all over minus a square b square is equal to minus a square b square over minus a square b square so minus take care of minus so i'm left with x minus h all square all over b square plus uh y minus k all square all over what minus a square is equal to what sorry sorry b square cancel b square here is a square sorry so why here is b square is equal to what one so plus minus is minus so we are having minus in the middle so so finally my answer is now x minus h all squared all over a squared plus minus is minus y minus k all squared all over b squared is equal to one so this is what a hyperbolic function so how a uh, hyperbolic equation how do we know that this equation is hyperbolic we know by by i told you that how to know is that what that the coefficient of x squared and y squared will not be the same in the sign in the sign it may be the same in the number but in the sign it will not be the same so this one is plus and this one is minus I getting it now so and then um, the hyperbola is facing the side with the, that is positive the hyperbola is facing the side that is positive so if both of them is positive it means it's not a hyperbola because we don't know where it will be facing now so but since uh one of them is positive so this hyperbola is parallel or facing what x axis okay it's parallel or facing x axis because uh, x is a uh, square thank you very much for watching in our next video, we'll talk about the other formulas and then we solve calculation in hyperbola.